In this short video I will demonstrate various tricks how to put a maggot onto the hook. Before moving any further, I have to mention that for this demonstration I will use fake maggots. It will be easier for you to see what I am doing. And also I will be using very big hook. You would never use such a hook when threading maggots on it. So that's a size 6 and that's a size 12. So if I would be using size 12, you wouldn't be able to see very well what I am doing. So I won't use a normal and usual size hooks for this demonstration. And I will use very big hook so you would be able to see what I'm doing exactly. The most basic method to put a maggots onto the hook is just to thread them through the fatter end. Most people using this kind of presentation when float fishing and uh, I have to say that this type of hooking is okay but you can improve it a little bit as well. So when you're putting a couple maggots simply onto the hook you want to put all your maggots through the thinner end except the last one and I will quickly explain why. Just like that. So by doing that, if you would have like 5 or 4 maggots or something like that, then it would mean that you would have a little bit less meat around the hook point and that helps with the hooking the fish. And also it's very important to have the last maggot hooked through the fatter end. This is because quite often when you are fishing you are hooking the fish and uh, you are losing it because your maggot kind of like the last one hooks itself onto the hook point. It's not easy to demonstrate but I, I'm sure that every one of you experienced that kind of situation. You just hook the fish and you lose it after a couple seconds and you pull out your rig of the water and then your rig looks like that. Last maggot is hooked onto the hook point. So, and obviously when your last maggot is hooked through the fatter end, it means that it can't move as well because uh, most of, because the uh, hook disables the movement and uh, the ones which are a little bit further away from the hook point, those are not a problem because they are a little bit further. And using this kind of hooking pattern you can use as many maggots as you want or as required by situation. For example I will put now 5 maggots onto the hook. So 4 of them will go through the thinner end just like that. And the last one will go through the fatter end. So and it means that we have as little meat as possible around the hook point but also we have the hook point protected a little bit with the last maggot so it wouldn't move as much and snag onto the hook point and making it lose a fish. Another little trick is to use a maggot as a parachute. I will quickly explain what I mean. So you want to take your maggot and hook it through the middle and hook it slightly as well. Just nick it onto the skin just like that. So 
once a maggot and world rig will be sinking your hook obviously will be sinking first because it's made out of metal and it's heavy and your maggot will be stopping it so the hook point or hook should i say will sink much much slower and the presentation will be much better and also it means that all the maggots when they are dropped into the water they always sink horizontally just like that they don't sink like that or or like that they always think like like that like horizontally to the top of the water or the bottom so they always think like that so and uh, in this case your maggot which is onto the hook will sink exactly like that and will mimic free offerings and that's really perfect this kind of Hooking is very good for more delicate species which do like to take the bait on the drop like roach, hybrids, chub eyed etc. Another way to achieve a parachute effect is by hooking a maggot through the middle but not making like a cross but just like that. I'll quickly show what I mean. For me it's more difficult to hook maggots like that. Most of the time I discovered that you need to hold the maggot and just kind of bend it double just like that and then very gently thread it onto the hook just like that. So yeah it will be more or less the same parachute effect so the maggot will be orientated like that so horizontally with the bottom or with the surface of the water and it will be sinking like that and pre presenting itself very well to the fish because the hook obviously is made out of metal and it will pull the maggot down but the maggot will be stopping the fall of the rig. But still I would say that for me better way is to better way to achieve the same thing is by hooking that just pure because of it's easier to thread the maggot on like that and i think that it works a little bit better because the maggot is a little bit further away from the hook point so the hooking properties i believe are better but of course it depends on the hook size you are using etc very good trick when roach fishing especially on the feeder is to hook a maggot just like half hooking if you like i will quickly show what i mean so you start threading it like you thread all of it but then you push the hook out of the maggot and you will end up with something like that so this kind of hooking quite often works very well for roach I'm not too sure why it's set, probably because it's sinking at some very good angle and Roach quite likes that kind of presentation. And the hooking properties of uh, the hook, which has a maggot hooked like that, are quite good as well, especially if you have like a smaller hook, seems you will be hooking many more fish. But again, if fish are not feeding very well, I would say that this kind of hooking is not the best. You want to use this kind of hooking when you have lots of fish in your area, especially lots of roach. One more trick is when there are lots of fish in your swim or they are not very finicky, so they are really having it and you want to catch quite a few fish with a single hook bait very simple you just take your hook and your maggot and thread it onto the hook fully Obviously, it's much more difficult to do that with a rubber maggot. It would be much easier with fresh one. So 
So yeah, just like that. And with a maggot on the hook, hooked like that, quite often you can catch quite a few fish. Sometimes you will catch 20 fish on a single maggot. But I would say when fishing is not very good, when fish are finicky and not really having it, I would say don't use this kind of hooking because most likely you will get less bites. And that's it from me for today. I hope you will find this video useful in your own fishing. If you like this video, please leave thumbs up and consider subscribing, it would help a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.